Okie dokie. So now we have 13.20, which gives uh, all the information it gives us at the start is that we have a satellite in circular orbit with a orbital speed of 6200 meters per second. Uh, there's two parts to this problem. I'll probably just do the first part in one video and the second part in another video, depending on how much room it takes. So, uh, the first problem is we're asked to find the time of one revolution around the Earth, which is basically just asking us for our period. So let's just go ahead and write in here that our period is equal to 2 pi r over velocity. We're given the orbital velocity so we can use this particular equation, but we do not know our, our radius, our distance from the center of the Earth to our satellite. So what we need to do is find some equation that has, uh, that relates velocity to our radius, which we, in, you know, fun, uh, conveniently enough is the equation for orbital velocity. So, we can just uh, solve this equation for r, and that'll give us our radius. So, we have uh, v squared is equal to gravitational constant times the mass of the Earth over r, and then we can just swap the r and the v squared. So, we have r is equal to our gravitational constant times the mass of the Earth over our velocity squared. And from a uh, previous problem, we know that the numerator here is 3.98 times 10 uh, to the 14 over our velocity squared, which was 6,200 meters per second squared. So we do this math and we find out that our radius is equal to 1.04 times 10 to the 7 meters. So now we can just plug this value for r straight into this problem since that is going to be our total distance from the center of the earth to the border of our orbit. So that's going to be 2 pi times 1.04 times 10 to the 7 meters over our velocity which was 6200 meters per second and we do that math and that comes out to be 1.05 times 10 to the 4 seconds and as always we actually want that to be in hours so we just take 3600 seconds in one hour that'll cancel out our seconds and we have hours that will give us 2.9 hours and then uh, the next part is actually pretty simple, so we'll just dig right into that. Part B asks us to find our uh, radial ac acceleration. So we know, again from chapter 3, that our A rad is equal to our orbital velocity squared over the radius. And we already know what those two variables are. So we can just plug those right in. Uh, we know from, uh, well, we have 6200 squared over our radius, which was 1.04 times 10 to the 7 meters. So we do that math, that will give us 3.7 meters per second squared as our radial acceleration. 